Yo, what up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast. I'm here to present you my NBA morning shoot around for Tuesday, October 22nd. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all my NBA, NFL, and MLB videos. If you haven't came and checked out our website here at DFSCheatSheet.com, you're absolutely missing out. We have all the tools to help you compete with the pros day in and day out, including a complete optimizer, tons of content, daily fando, and DraftKings cash lineups. Hey, we're truly a one-stop shop for our DFS needs. So make sure to come check out the site here at DFSCheatSheet.com. So, hey, man, NBA is back. Super excited. You guys know the M uh, NBA is my favorite sport. Um, yeah, man, we started off today with a couple good games. The only thing missing from these games today is the fact that you got Zion's going to end up being out uh, for the Pelicans. Paul George is going to end up being out for the Clippers. But um, still, should be some very good games. Should be some competitive games. we got four really solid teams uh, going today. I'm really excited for tonight, man. I'm really ready to jump back into NBA. And, um, yeah, one thing I do recommend, though, tonight, don't go crazy. It's only a two-game slate. Definitely uh, play a little bit. We'll be putting cash lines out. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll get NBA started tonight. Just don't go absolute crazy. That's my advice. Uh, but, yeah, man, there's a lot of money out there. And uh, let's jump into tonight's slate. So, I mean, we, we can just go. We can either go game by game or we can just go by position. Um, if you guys want, we'll just go by position since it's only two games. Usually we do go game by game. But, um, yeah, so we'll start at the point guard spot. I mean, there's just really – there's – Four guys that, that are clearly in play, and then we got to wait and see what happens with Rondo. Um, you know, Kyle Lowry, 7,600, with no um, Kawhi Leonard out there in Toronto no more. Kyle Lowry is going to be one of the guys that's going to have to pick up a little bit of that slack. I mean, you know you know what you're getting with Kawhi Leonard. You're getting a guy who's going to score 25 a game and do a little bit of everything. You know, with like I said, with him not there, Kyle Lowry is going to have to average a little bit more this season. He's going to have to, you know, pick up a little bit more of the scoring load. Um, I think that Kyle Lowry, 7,600, going against the Pelicans team is a fair price. Uh, my only thing about Kyle Lowry is he's going to be going against Lonzo Ball and he's going to be going against Drew Holiday, um, two pretty good defenders. So it's not the best matchup. Uh, but, you know, he's going to have the ball in his hands so much. At a 7600 price tag, definitely think that Kyle Lowry is in play. On the flip side of things, we talked about it, Lonzo Ball um, coming into the season healthy. We know Lonzo's a guy that he could fill up the stat sheet, uh, went healthy, improved his shot a little bit as well over the offseason. Um, you know, he's going to have to be a pivotal part of this offense. He's going to have to set people up. He's going to have to score a little bit um, for this Pelicans team, especially while Zion's out. Um, he's going to have to pick up a little bit of the slack. So, yeah, I think this, that um, Kyle Lowry's in play. On the flip side, I think that Lonzo Ball's in play. Um, then we got a couple guys, you know, on a little bit lower end of the tier. You know, these guys are both 7,000. You got Fred Van Fleet. He should step into that starting lineup. We, we know what he did last uh, last playoffs. He absolutely went bonkers. He's a guy that can put up some fancy points. I played him a lot last year as well uh, when Leonard or Lowry was out. So at a 5,600 price tag, I definitely think that Fred Van Fleet is a very fair price tag. And then uh, Patrick Beverly is going to be that starting point guard. Uh, he's a guy that gives you a little bit of everything. The guy has, you know, triple-double upside, plays some good defense. Uh, you seen last year in the playoffs, I mean, he was averaging 42 fantasy points a game. So, he's, you know, he's showing us what, what – he can definitely do with the minutes. I, I think that all all four of those guys are in play. Rondo's questionable tonight um, with a calf injury. If Rondo plays and he's going to start and play a bunch of uh, you know a regular rotation of minutes, then I think he is in play at forty nine hundred. He has a lot of weapons, and I expect Rondo to definitely. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Rajon Rondo. I expect him to absolutely just stack up the the assist totals. Um, this season, he has such a good team around him. So if he's going to play and he's going to get regular minutes, I think that Rondo is in play as well at 4,900. If Rondo ends up being out and Caruso ends up being out as well, I think that uh, as a flyer guy, as a flyer guy, I think you could possibly look at Quinn Cook uh, to pick up some extra minutes with Rondo being out. Um, so we've got to kind of wait and see on that piece of news. Uh, but there's definitely some good point guard um, to, to play at that position. 
Moving on to shooting guard, Drew Holiday, I mean, I think he's going to continue to be the main focus of this offense, especially while Zion is out. He's a guy that brings up the ball. He's a backup point guard plus the starting shooting guard. He's a guy that whenever they need a bucket, crunch time, he's going to be the guy in there. He's going to play defense and get us some uh, some steals as well. 8,700, I think Drew Holiday is, gives us a solid floor, um, and, and I think that he's a really good play at 8,700. Uh, Lou Williams, 6,200. You know, he's going to, you know, we know Doc Rivers loves this guy. Yes, he's going to come off the bench, but he's going to figure out a way to get him 30 minutes a game. Outside of Kawhi Leonard, with Paul George out right now, he's the best, you know, pure scorer. Um, so I think this Lou Will, 6,200, and the game is going to be very competitive against the, the Lakers. It's going to be high scoring, and I think that they're going to need um, somebody to score outside of Leonard. And I definitely think that could be Lou Williams. Um, you know, moving down a little bit, 4,800, uh, JJ Reddick is going to be in that starting lineup. And with Zion out, they're going to need somebody to pick up some extra minutes and score a couple extra buckets. And we know that JJ Reddick can shoot the ball. He's a, he's a walking bucket. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I think that, that you can look at him um, at the mid, mid-tier mid price range. I think he's a very fair play. Same thing with Danny Green, 4,600. He's It's looking like he's a guy that's going to get um, a bunch of minutes, you know, for the Lakers in that starting um, shooting guard role. Um, you know, so I think that he's definitely in play. You know, you can possibly look at, you know, a guy like Avery Bradley, Caldwell Pope. You know, this is a two-game slate. We're kind of looking to differentiate ourselves a little bit. Um, those are guys that are going to get a little bit of run. Um, not necessarily they're like home run hitters, but some cheap guys that possibly could get you some run that will differentiate your lineups and help you, you know, to take down tournaments tonight. I think those are a couple guys you can also throw in there. Moving to the small forward position, I mean, this is a guy, I and mean, this is a position where I feel you're going to have to pay up for one of the two guys, either LeBron James at 11.4 or, say, $1,500 and go with Kawhi Leonard. I don't know, man. In this particular spot, I think that we're going to have to probably save the money and go with Kawhi Leonard, especially with no Paul George. They're going to need scoring um, for the Clippers, and they're going to go to Kawhi Leonard. And, yeah, LeBron, I mean, he, he can definitely rack it up for us and, and get us the fancy points that we need. But with Anthony Davis, with all the weapons around the Lakers, I just want to kind of say, as get a kind of a wait and see approach. Um, next couple of days, see how the Lakers rotations, uh, you know, end up working out, and see kind of if LeBron gets his if he kind of, you know, doesn't get as much fancy points because AD's there. I just kind of want to wait and see. It's tough when you have. Uh, two superstars on the same team and you never see them play together. Somebody's going to take a hit. I kind of want to wait and see what happens with the Lakers. But definitely LeBron's still going to be in play. He's probably going to be high-owned. Um, I just think for $1,500 less, you can get Kawhi Leonard, who's the main option on their team, is going to get a ton of shots. Uh, both guys in play, though, for sure. Uh, then we'll move down a little bit. You got Pascal Siakam coming off a breakout year. I mentioned it with no Kawhi Leonard um, out there in Toronto. It's going to be Lowry. It's going to be Siakam, Mark Gasol. All these guys are going to, uh, even Van Fleet, they're going to have to step up and have expanded roles. And that 8000 price tag uh, for Siakam, I know he's going to get, you know, 38 minutes in a game. Um, I think that he's a fair price tag, and I like him. And, and if you don't pay for LeBron, if you don't go for a Leonard, and you go with the balance lineup, I think you could definitely get Siakam in there um, at 8000 I think that he's a good price tag. Um, and then if you want to save some money, um, you know, we're working our way down. You got the high tier guys, you got the mid tier Siakam. I even think that Brandon Ingram at 6,300 is in play. Um, he's had, he had a pretty good, uh, preseason. Um, I mentioned it. They got no, um, no Zion. They're going to need some scoring. I think right now they're the best two players are Drew Holiday and Brent and Ingram. Um, and then you got kind of like Lonzo coming in, JJ Redick after that. Ingram, I expect him to have a really good season. Um, and at 6,300, he's the guy that we know fills up the stat sheet, does a little bit of everything. So he's definitely in play. And then coming on the cheaper end, I mean, there's two guys I think that you can look at down here. Um, I think that you can look at OG Anubi. He's going to step into that starting role. And he's a guy that's shown us he can perform in the past when he has minutes. He's long, plays defense. And, um, yeah, man, I, I like him at 4,300. I think he's a cheap guy that you can fit in there. Um, to help kind of get you some value. One more guy also, uh, Maurice Harkless. I think that he's a guy that's going to get some extra run um, with Paul George out right now. Um, and at a 4,100 price tag, I mean, I'm just looking for some value on today's slate. And he, I think that he's a guy that could potentially get you some value as well. Moving on to the power forward position, we got Anthony Davis, 12-1. I told you, I mean, the price tag's up there. 
I mean, he's a guy that we know he can give us 70 fast points any day. I just want to kind of wait and see how him and LeBron play together in a real game. Um, so I can kind of, you know, because somebody's fantasy points are going to get hit between him and LeBron. I just don't know who is going to be yet. Definitely think he is in play on this small slate, though. Uh, him and LeBron are the, the two most expensive guys, you know, for a good reason. I expect him to get on the Clippers today. Anthony Davis in play. Uh, then you got Serge Ibaka, 6,000. Um, he's a guy that was in and out the starting lineup last year. Um, he's probably going to come off the bench with uh, Siakam and Gasol um, healthy. Um, so I think that, you know, that, you know, Ibaki, even if he does come off the bench, he's going to get 25, 26 minutes. And he's a guy that can give us, you know, 35 fantasy points in 25 minutes. He's a guy that fills up the stat sheet. You know, he has a much improved uh, jumper as well. Knocked down a couple of threes. Uh, I think that Ibaka is definitely a play. I'm um, outside that. I mean, power forward's kind of the ugly position that I'm trying to debate on really what to do. I mean, outside of you pay up for Davis, you could take some value with Ibaka. I mean, who else are we really going to look at? I really don't trust any of these other guys. Um, so it's tough. I mean, the only other guy that I feel is going to really get some consistent minutes is going to be Jermichael Green. Um, I think he'll probably start for the Clippers because they like bringing Harrell off the bench. Um, even if he comes off the bench, I think that, you know, he'll, he's a guy that's going to get you know, right around 25 minutes. And at 4,600, I think that he's somebody that we could consider. Power forward is the ugly spot. And that's what's making me kind of feel like if we we're going to pay up for LeBron or we we're going to pay up for Anthony Davis, we probably would go with Anthony Davis just because the, the fact that power forward is so ugly. I think that he's going to be a guy that's going to be pretty chalk. Um, yeah, so it makes it tough. Like I said, this 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 position is a is kind of a hard one. Um, there's three guys that I really trust, so you're probably gonna have to fit those three guys in. Um, outside of that, I mean, if we hear that one of these cheaper guys is gonna get some run or something, we could possibly look at them. But I gotta kind of hear some news and, and kind of go from there first. Um, and then to finish off with center, I mean, center's a pretty good spot. Every position has. Some good plays in the upper tier and in the lower tier, except for power forward. Um, center, you got Montrez Harold, probably going to come off the bench, like I mentioned. Um, 7,300, uh, I think that, um, you know, he's, he's a great play. He actually may start as well, um, you know, with Zubac kind of on the injury list right now. Um, I think that, you know, he could possibly start. Even if he doesn't start, though, he's like Lou Williams. He's a guy that's going to come off. He's going to get some minutes. <clears throat> and in my correction, Zubac isn't hurt. So Zubac probably will get the starting nod. Um, but Harold's going to get his in the long run. He's a guy that Doc Rivers goes with, uh, you know, down the stretch. And um, he's a guy that definitely fills up the stat sheet, 7,300. It's a tough matchup, though. Lakers have some really good bigs. We got Howard. We got JaVale McGee. We got Anthony Davis. Um, so this isn't a, the best matchup for Harold, but he definitely is in play. Derek Favors, he's going to get some extra run with Zion out. Um, 6,700, he's a guy that, you know, Derek Favors is a guy that filled up the stat sheet as well. We've watched over the past couple of years, um, you know, out there in Utah. And, and, you know, I think this is going to be a pretty good Pelicans team. It's going to be fairly competitive. Um, they definitely have some good players. And, and Davis is, I mean, uh, and Derek Favors is, is one of those guys. Mark Gasol, 6,500. When he came over last year, I mean, they didn't really need too much from him. I mean, they had Kawhi later. They had all their other pieces. Siakam was having the best year um, of his career, so he didn't have to come over and do a ton. But this year with no Kawhi Leonard, I think that he's going to have to do a little bit more, you know, scoring-wise, facilitate the offense, um, et cetera, 6,500 if he's going to get, you know, a full run today. Um, then he is in play, man. It's a really, really good price tag. Um, so I think all three of these top three guys are in play. And then you can even look at, you know, a JaVale McGee, um, Dwight Howard. It's looking like both of these guys are basically going to split minutes uh, for the most part. So I, I may take a wait-and-see approach right here um, to see kind of how that rotation kind of um, goes out, see if one out plays the other the next couple of days, et cetera. But both guys are guys that can really fill up the stat sheet in limited minutes. Um, so, you know, we got to kind of wait and see what kind of news we have coming out on the starting lineup on if we get any news on who's going to play what kind of minutes, et cetera. But I think that both these Lakers guys could be low on GPP plays. And then, you know, I mentioned it, um, Zubat, um, he should get his minutes today. Um, you know, probably gets around 20 minutes. That's what he played last year. And um, he's a guy that could definitely fill up the stat sheet, you know, coming from the Lakers. We watched him a little bit last year, and he does have some upside at 4,500, I think he's a, a low-end GPP player that you could throw out there, kind of help differentiate your lineups. 
but yeah, man, today's gonna be a fun slate. It's two games. It's a small one, but like I said, there there's some good players. There's some good value out there, really outside of the power forward position. Uh, one thing I do want to mention to you guys: it is the first day of the season. I know everybody's excited about NBA. First day, though, we need to kind of figure out the rotations. Um, NBA is a it's, a it's a long haul, man. So don't just kind of go all in today. Uh, but cash outlets will be available 15 minutes before lock. So make sure to check out the site, dfscheatsheet.com. And hey, good luck on your guys' contest tonight. All right, guys? Hey, peace out.